In this video, we will be studying the India's foreign trade after independence. See, after independence, what happened? There was a significant change in the volume of foreign trade. After that, there was also change in the composition of foreign trade. And there was change in the direction of foreign trade. Let's understand these three individually now. These are some figures of the volume of uh, foreign trade. These are the imports and exports. The first year plan, second year plan, third year plan, fourth year plan, then uh, after that I have taken eleventh year plan. See, uh, big, uh, the plans that government have introduced, the five years plan, they have significantly uh, put the efforts in order to increase their imports and exports and increase their relationship in the foreign market. So the volume of foreign trade kept on rising and rising uh, after the eve of independence. So the ultimately the effect on the volume of the foreign trade was it in 1951 and 1956 plan it was 3651 crore whereas after the 11th year plan in 2007-2012 your imports are these much can you see the drastic change in the volume so the volume has changed after the uh, independence of the foreign trade by the continuous efforts of the government. The next comes your composition of foreign trade after independence. See, I have told you in the previous video that what is composition? Your composition of trade, it refers to the type of goods and services We export and import. Right. See, uh, before the independence, India was the importer of finished goods and the exporter of raw material. But after independence, there has been a substantial change in the composition of India's international trade. What was the uh, changes that were seen? Number one was decline in percentage share of agricultural exports. See, we reduce the export of raw material. Our agriculture produces uh, used as the raw material in the foreign countries. So we reduce the export of agriculture uh, goods. Whereas what we did, we started using our agriculture produced within India. The egg, uh, the farm products is raw material were used by our domestic industry, and substantial rise in India's population has also led to the Rise in the domestic composition of farm products. There, are, there was an increase in the Indian population. So definitely more wheat, more rice uh, pulses will be required in order to satisfy the food demand of the uh, individuals. So decline in the percentage share of agriculture exports. So India reduced the agriculture exports. Just because India started its farm product as raw material for its domestic industries. Second comes your decline in percentage share of conventional items. See the conventional items of India export includes your jute, tea, food grains, 
minerals these are actually a conventional item these items constituted the bulk of india's export at the time of independence while with the planned development program in place domestic demand of these conventional items increased just because we started a industrialization we have introduced our own domestic industries so their demand the conventional items demand uh, has increased in our domestic market in india so what we did we reduced the export of these conventional items in the rest of the world and then the last one is increased percentage share of the manufactured goods India became the exporter of finished goods now because due to the industrialization the uh, strategy uh, for the industrial growth that was taken from 1950 to 1990 uh, what we did we majorly focused on the industrialization we uh, the government of india and the private investors started investing and establishing the domestic industries so we as an importer of foreign goods became the exporter of finished goods or you can say as the manufactured goods so, so this increases the export of the manufactured goods so this was the change in the composition of foreign trade after independence now the direction of foreign trade See, uh, before the time of independence or on the eve of independence, what was our condition? We used to import and export the goods only to the Britain. What do you mean by the direction of trade? I have already told you that direction of trade refers to the countries to which country exports its goods or services and the countries from which it imports the goods or services. So the countries through uh, to with whom you are trading refers to your direction of foreign trade. From which country you are taking the goods, from which to which country you are sending your goods. So this is the direction of foreign trade. See, before or at the time of independence, our foreign trade was only restricted to Britain or England can say because Britishers rule our country and they did not let us trade to the rest of the world apart from the Britain now after the independence we started trading with other countries and our major trading partners are UAE China Switzerland Singapore Australia, Iran, Korea, USA, Japan, UK. So almost all the leading countries of the world we have the connection with. So this is how the direction of foreign trade changed after the independence. The year 1991 was a year in which we took the major decision and we bought the LPG policy in India. 
that is a liberalization, privatization, globalization to improve the foreign trade. So, the 1991 reforms brought a drastic change in the Indian economy. So I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.